Yeah, my name is David Trithard. I'm a resident of the village of Potsdam. I've been here since uh, 1973, so it's been a, a number of years. And fairly early on, I joined the Adirondack Mountain Club, and their local chapter runs outings. And among the things that uh, they look for is people to lead outings. And for quite a number of years, starting probably in the late 70s or early 80s, I, I started to lead a, an annual ski up the toll road on, on Whiteface. And uh, we would uh, schedule that usually for an early weekend in December, and it would be exciting because it would be one of the first uh, ski trips of the year usually. Uh, Whiteface would tend to get snow earlier than other parts, other areas around. So uh, you could pretty reliably count on there being snow, and, and um, even if there wasn't snow in Potsdam, there would be snow in Whiteface. So, uh, we did that, and uh, I'd usually have a dozen or, or more people, and we'd have a, a great day. Of course, it, year to year, it varied quite a lot. Some years it was so foggy you couldn't see a thing when you got on the top of Whiteface. Some years you almost got blown off the mountain because it was so windy. And, you know, it varied a lot, but we would, we would have our trips. And then eventually it began to be a little more difficult uh, to reliably expect there, there to be enough snow. And we had to cancel a few times because... It was raining instead of snow, or the rain had come in and the snow was nothing but ice. So we shifted the, the, the outing to later in December, and eventually we got it um, to where it was the, the Saturday before Christmas, which is several weeks later than what we used to do. Um, and we continued that. Uh, and it was often okay conditions by then, but um, uh, I haven't done it for the last few years, but the uh, year before last, we, we did it just as a family trip with the family and some friends, and it was the last weekend in uh, February or early March. Um, and, you know, there, there had been snow on Whiteface earlier in the season than that, but that was, uh, that was a, good, a good trip. Uh, there was some ice and stuff like that, but that's almost to be expected. But it does seem that the, the um, winter is not as reliable as early as it in the year as it had been when uh, in the early years that I used to do this trip. And I'm also on, on the member of the board at the Friends of Higley Flow State Park. And down there we have ski trails in the wintertime, which, which we groom and... Uh, um, that's it's it's varied a lot from year to year how good the skiing is but the skiing season um it seems to be getting a little bit shorter on both ends uh, this past winter it was actually not bad uh we had some some good snow conditions and we had quite a number of uh of days when the skiing was good the year before and the year before that was much less reliably uh uh good good conditions for skiing so it often is because the snow is becomes ice <laughs> and uh, uh it's hard to set a track that's uh, very appealing to skiers if it's just two grooves of grooves in the ice so um there's been some change at least from what i myself have been able to sense um, 